This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys, yesterday I have told you I will show you some of the images and videos. Okay, is my voice audible for everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, thank yes, you. Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for responding. Okay, did all of you downloaded the software? Liveware and PCB wizard. Please respond. No sir. No sir. Yeah, we downloaded but not installed, sir. Downloaded but not installed. Okay, no problem. Installed, sir. But downloaded but not installed, sir. Okay, no problem. It takes only one to two minutes to install. Whoever not downloaded, please make it fast. Okay, meanwhile, I will show you some of the images why we have adapted to PCBs. And I will show you a video of how to make PCBs at home. Okay, guys, these are some more slides. Okay, why we have came to PCBs? Here you can see a bulky circuit which is designed by using motherboard, breadboard, sorry. Okay, here we can observe that there is much complexity in connecting the pins of ICs, components, etc, etc. If one connection is shorted, the entire circuit may damage. Is that a or no? Yes, sir. Okay, that's why we have adapted to PCBs. Okay, these are the types. Yesterday we have discussed. Okay, these are the single-sided PCBs where components are mounted on the top side of the board. Single-sided PCB, double-sided PCBs will be like this. Okay, here you can observe directly. These are the footprints of SMD components. That means they can be shouldered directly here. Okay. All these holes are wires. You can clearly observe there is a conducting material from the top to bottom layer, okay? Is it clear for everyone? Yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Next is a multi-layered PCB. Okay, here you can observe a rigid flex PCB, that means we have a solid structure here and this is a flexible PCB, okay? Yesterday I haven't shown you some of the images, that's why I took this. Okay, next one is the flexible PCBs. You can observe them in mobiles, laptops. Okay, everywhere. Next, these are all the components, etc. etc. Okay, now I will show you a video. Please watch it carefully. How 
PCBs are made at home. Okay, that is the manual process. Okay, firstly we need to design the circuit and then follow the steps. Okay. It's just a four minute video. I need all of you to pay attention to the video. Is it clear guys, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, is the screen is fully visible? Yes, sir. No, okay, sir. there will be no audio. Just see the video. Firstly, we need to design the circuit and then take the printout of the design. Okay, that is a single sided PCB. Observe the video carefully. Mr. Sagar Mandaru, please turn off your webcam.
Guys, is it clear for everyone? Or I need to repeat it? Sir, again, yes, sir. Sir. Yes. One second, repeat, sir. Clear, sir. Hello, sir. Sir, in first video, extra copper is not uh, removed. One second, repeat, sir. Okay. 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 Is it playing? Please, someone respond. Playing, sir. Your voice is not audible to you, sir. Okay, guys, you can observe each and every step. If you have any doubts in this video, you can ask me. Okay, you can observe in the video that he is slowly removing the, all the paper. Then the board is immersed in the ferric chloride solution. Okay, that is the ferric chloride solution. We need to dip that board in ferric chloride solution for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, now you can observe a board which is completely etched. Okay, you can clearly observe the plastic over there. The excess part is removed. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Sir, we should keep it kept in ferric chloride to for the etching of copper, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir. Hello. Tell me. Sir. Uh... Circuit designing, all sir, are there? Okay, you will be learning that only. Ah, okay, sir. In two weeks, you are designing an edge counter. Ah, okay, sir. Okay, then ah. you can observe the cleaning process. Ah, okay, video. sir. Okay, sir. Okay, those are the copper tracks. Nothing but connections from each and every component terminals of every component. Then he is drilling the holes or placing the components. This is all manual process. Okay, companies won't do it. They just directly design the circuit. 
and rest of the things are take care by the machinery okay is it clear for everyone yes sir yes sir yes sir okay did all of you install sir. the software live wire and pcb wizard no sir adhi alla che yes sir down take che water guys please no. sir sir please share that link in whatsapp group sir making of pcb at home okay i will share the video no problem okay sir thank you sir okay guys just download the software and you need to double click on it okay the installation process Hello, is sir. not much complex it is easy to install once you click on that file hello manohar sir off sir after etching process we need to paste that uh, trace on the fr4 sheet sir not after etching come again what is your dot after removing removing the access copper we will get a trace of the circuit new sir i did not get you hello after etching process we will get the trace of the track of the circuit okay after etching we just need to clean the board and drill the holes and you observe clearly Okay guys give me a minute just i need to open the software Okay, guys, is the screen is visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You can observe on the screen here, the right bottom, live wire and PCB wizard. Okay, if you install that only single file, you will get two softwares like this because they are two interlinked softwares. They are not separate. Okay, you will know the difference between live wire and PCB wizard shortly. Okay, after installing, you will have two softwares like this. Okay, did anyone completed this process? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. How many of you have not yet installed the softwares? If I don't have sir. Sir, I was uh, installed that. Uh, I don't have PCB. Easy EDA. Not easy EDA. I need PCB wizard and liveware softwares. That is a single file in the link which I have shared. 
uh, in what through whatsapp you have shared sir yeah in whatsapp group yesterday there is a link for softwares <coughs> Guys, the downloaded file looks like this. Okay. Guys, please turn off your mics. If it is required, then you can turn on your mics. Otherwise, be careful. Be conscious about your mics. Okay, guys. If you double click on this downloaded file, that two files will be installed in your system. Okay, these two files, LiveWire and PCB Wizard. Okay, I think many of you have installed the softwares. I need all of you to open LiveWire, okay, which looks like this. I'm opening the LiveWire software. Guys, okay, you can close this getting started live window. Okay, I have closed it then. You will be getting a window like this and a gallery window on top of your screen. Okay, let me know if everyone has opened the software, then I will start with the software. Open, sir. Open, sir. Okay, you can close the live where getting started window. Okay, Miss P. Pravalika. It is not supporting. Okay, guys, you will find issues if you have an antivirus in your system or if your system is a Mac, this software is a third party software, I think so. Okay. If antivirus is active in your system, it won't allow the software to get run in your systems. Please make sure that. Okay, whoever have the problems after completion of the session, we will try to clear that. Okay, these are the cases. If you have antivirus, it may restrict the software from getting run in your systems. Or if you have a Mac, it won't get installed in that OS. Okay, let's get started with the software. First of all, come to the file. These are the normal. Sir, five minutes, please. Hello, who's that talking? Hello.
Okay, someone again turn on their webcam. Okay, be very cautious about your mics and webcams. Okay, there are nearly 250 people watching you and your beautiful homes. And you be beautiful conversations in your homes. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, click on fire. These are the generals. Many of you know what does a file consists of. You can open a new file, open, close, save, save as. Okay, all these are general. Next, edit is also a general. View is also a general. Okay, from insert, we can use the components while designing the circuits and from tools also we can use some of the functions here but we will discuss them later maybe tomorrow okay window these are all general purpose okay now you have to check about the gallery everyone come to the gallery okay these are the components for designing circuits okay as i have already told you yesterday we will be designing circuits not pcb boards okay this live wire has nothing to do with pcb designing okay i will be giving you some of the circuits for that yeah. circuits we will be designing pcb boards is it clear for everyone? Guys, if I want, I can lock you from the meeting. Please be your of your mics. So it's better to dis disable the unmute option, sir. Okay, guys, it's your responsibility to take take care of your mic. If I continuously observe someone that same name is creating disturbance, I can left you from the meeting. Okay. Okay, now come to the gallery. These are the components. We need in every electronic circuit. Okay. Now observe the gallery. First of all, it is in a folder called as power supplies. Okay. In power supplies, what components do we have? We have a battery, cell, ground, voltage rail, zero volt rail, okay, input voltage. These are the sources: DC voltage source, AC voltage source, current source, fuse, and voltage regulator. Okay. These are the components available in power supplies. 
okay next these are all the components electronic components we have connectors in some circuits we need a sir your voice is not audible to us sir Under yes, sir, huh? your voice is not audible. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay, next. Under yes, sir, single in line. Okay, tell me. Sir, please, please explain, under sir. Okay, connectors. We will not be using any of the connectors in our circuits. Okay, in rare cases only we use connectors. You will be knowing it while designing the circuits. Okay, no need to give spend time on connectors. Okay, you will be knowing single inline. Okay, this is a term. Terminal blocks, you can observe them practically in some of the circuits. Okay, while designing the circuits, you will know. Okay, in most of the cases, we are not going to use these connectors, but you will know where they are used and how they are used. Okay, dual in line is the double sided. These are some of the ICs. Okay, <clears throat> four pin IC, six pin IC. Eight pin ICs. Okay, these are the ICs, but we will use the ICs, not dual inline symbols. These are just symbols, not ICs. The last time, next term. Okay, tell me who's that speaking. Okay, please give me a minute, guys. Sorry guys for the inconvenience. I need to take a call. Okay, where is the gallery? Okay, if if you miss the gallery, okay, you can click in this symbol. Okay. The last one. We can click on it to view the gallery. Okay. Terminal blocks are nothing but Okay, I will show you what they look practically in the physical world. Next sockets. Okay, these are some header, file, header pins. Okay, they are soldered into the PCB boards. Okay, I will show you in circuits. Okay, these are all the components we will use the least. Okay, now coming to the input components. From here, you need to be observed carefully. We will have buttons, sensors, okay, all under input components. Okay, you need to be clear about this gallery. In input components, we have switches, buttons, Okay, these are the different types of switches. Next, we have some sensors like variable resistor, potentiometer, LDR sensor, thermistor. Okay, we will use this in some of the circuits. Okay, 
signal generator is also is in input components next passive components okay all of us are familiar with the passive components like resistors capacitors okay inductors nothing but transformers he in resistors you can observe different types of resistors okay if your circuit is needing seven resistors at a time a bulk of resistors you can use this type of resistors also instead of taking single resistors variable resistor potentiometer capacitors different types of capacitors guys these are the circuit symbols of electronic components okay please keep in mind these are the circuit symbols while we are going to design pcb boards there we need to use the footprints of electronic components okay a footprint is different from a circuit symbol keep in mind that a circuit symbol is different from a footprint okay a footprint is nothing but a a copy of the original component okay how it looks like in the general world am i clear for everyone okay next yes sir inductors transformers these are the components available in passive components next discrete semiconductors nothing but diodes and transistors you can find in discrete semiconductors okay here you can use diodes jena diodes thyristors bridge rectifiers transistors npn pnp mosfets okay if your circuit consists of uh, any of these components you can use this components <clears throat> guys give me a minute Okay. Next. Okay, logic gates. We have if your if our circuit having any of the logic gates, we will use the logic gates from the logic gates. Next, integrated circuits, nothing but ICs. Okay, triple five timer IC, nothing but it is a eight pin IC. Okay. Double five six dual timer IC, operational amplifiers. Okay, these are the integrated circuits. If your circuit have any series, series, then you need to select the series series of your IC. Okay, next coming to the seven. okay these are the series in ics next coming to the out, output components okay here we have signal lamps film filament lamps buzzers loud speakers leds motors okay and so on whatever the output components we have we will be finding them in the output components okay please be sure about the gallery okay while connecting the circuits we need to take components from the gallery that's why i am stressing this too much on the gallery okay output components like leds buzzers motors okay relays okay here you can find the leds some displays seven segment displays and dot matrix displays also okay guys is the gallery clear for everyone someone yes, respond sir. yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir okay yes, sir. hello hello tell me Sir, what is that uh, test point in uh, measuring components, sir? 
Okay, sorry, sorry. I haven't told you about the measuring. Okay, after output components come to the measuring. Here we can find instruments related to measuring the voltages and signals. Okay, here we can find ammeters, voltmeters. Okay, test point. Okay, test point is nothing but any any of the circuits. If we lost signal from one point to another point, okay. If we use a test point signal, then we can find where it has been lost at the beginning or at the end. Okay. It means we can find the fault whether it is present in the transmitter or it is present in the receiver okay we will not be using test point in any of the circuits we come across okay measuring is also consists of oscilloscope nothing but cro okay we have watt meters digital multimeters and so on okay guys let's start with the basic circuit in layer software okay just give me a minute Sir, the screen is off, in, off, sir. Okay. I have stopped the sharing. Please give me a minute. Okay, is the screen visible now? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, now consider a basic circuit which consists of a battery. Okay, can anyone tell me? What is an LED and how does it work? LED. It is a light emitting diode. Light emitting diode. Okay. Which emits the light, sir. Okay, it is a three terminal signal? device. Three terminal device. Three LED is a, it's a two terminal diode. device, and when it's tied by electric current, light is emitted. Okay, okay. What are its terminals? Can anyone tell me? Anode and cathode. Yeah, anode cathode. Anode cathode. Okay, that's nice. Anode and cathode. Okay.
Okay, guys, I am not good at painting. Okay, actually, I have a problem with my mouse. Okay, guys, consider a battery, a resistor, and an LED. Okay, consider this as a basic circuit. Okay, what is the operating voltage of an LED? Can anyone tell me? 5 volts. 5 volts. Okay, be clear. What is the operating voltage of an LED? 0 0.7 to 5 volts. Sir, it's silicon, 0 0.7, sir, germany, 0 0.3. Huh? Oh, sorry. Okay. For generally, the volts. operates at three point three volts. volts. Okay, that's nice. Operating voltage is three point three volts in general applications. Is it clear, guys? Okay. In liver software, we have a power source of 9 volts battery okay this is a basic circuit which consists of a battery source and the resistor why do we use the resistor here can anyone tell me so that the direct current limiting the voltage limiting the voltage okay limits the voltage connect the battery directly to the led The LED may burn if we connect directly. So okay. there will be the a, some voltage yeah. drop across the resistor. Okay, that's nice answer. Yeah. If we directly connect an LED to a 9 volt battery, okay, in the next second yes, it will burn up. Yes, okay. Now I need all of you to take the components. Okay. Just click on the battery in gallery and click on the screen and the component will be placed. Okay. Just give a single click on the component and again click on the workspace. Okay, guys. I took a battery and I need a resistor. Okay. Where do I find a resistor? In passive components. As few components. I will take a resistor. 
okay and then where do i find an led semiconductor the output components output components okay led is an output device so it is present in the output components just scroll down all the output components nothing but lamps motors okay relays okay they are all present in the output components i am taking an led just click on the component and you need to again click on the workspace okay now i have taken the components okay if i need to rotate the components just select the component and click control plus r is it clear for everyone if you want to rotate the components select the component and click on control plus r hey hey okay guys i have taken the components and i have rotated the resistor okay now i need to connect the circuit for connecting the components just go to the terminal end okay you can observe four arrows then give a left click then you need to drag the wire is it clear guys go to the terminal end point of component and the, you need to drag it by clicking on the left side of your mouse then go to the other terminal of second component again give a left click sir okay tell me sir how to increase uh, component rating sir component rating sir okay. 1k on ka sir or 2k okay. Ava. okay just give click on the component double click on the component then a window will open there you can change the values of components okay if i need to change the value of the battery just i will give a double click on the component and i will change the voltage okay sir okay for connect in the components you need to go to the end point of terminals okay there you will find four arrows okay when that four arrows appears you need to click on the left side of your mouse and then drag the wire okay for rotating the wires you need to keep clicking on the left side okay if if you want to rotate the wire you need to keep on clicking on the left side of your mouse okay are the connections clear for everyone yes sir, yes, sir. okay that's nice okay do i need a 1k resistor for reducing the voltage to 3.3 volts can anyone tell me i have a 5 volts battery but i need do i need 1k resistor for reducing the voltage to 3.3 volts i'm sure uh 220 Okay, 220 is not sufficient. You will get a three three point seven or three point eight volts if you use a two point two. Okay, can anyone tell me how much resistance is needed to reduce the voltage from five volts? How many uh, amps into voltage? 
so that we can calculate on. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, guys, observe the screen. I have completed the circuit. Now <clears throat> I need to run the circuit. Go to the top corner. There you will find a run option, or simply you can click on the F9. Okay, go to this run option and click on run or if you click on f9 it will run okay is the led glows yes sir yes sir okay is it clear for everyone Yes, sir. Now I need to measure the voltage. Okay. So, what should we do if we want to stop the LED? Sir? Okay, again, click on. You will have a stop option. Decide to the run option. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Guys, if you, if you want to stop the run, Click on the stop option which is present beside to run off. Guys, please turn off your mics if it is not necessary. Hello, sir. Unko value pet chodan, sir. Okay, I will change the values. Okay. I am waiting for everyone to complete the circuit. Okay, please respond if everyone completed Hello, the sir, circuit. Hello, well. sir. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Changing the values, the color, LED color will change, sir. Okay, I know it. Okay, just I. I have a problem. The sorry, only unmodified circuits can be stimulated in a demonstrated version of it. Okay, chapter number. Sorry, only unmodified circuits can be stimulated in the demonstrated version. Okay, I think you you have done some mistake. Circuit. What's up, Pick this pet, sir. Oh, okay, guys. Meanwhile, I need to measure the input and output voltages. Okay. What do I need to take and what do I need to connect in this circuit? I need to measure the input and output voltages. What do I need to connect in the circuit? Can anyone tell me? Multimeter. Right. Okay, you can use a multimeter or you can use a voltmeter also. Okay, I will connect a voltmeter here. Just click on the gallery. Then go to the measuring. Then take two old meters.
okay guys i have connected two voltmeters in the input and output sides okay now run the circuit and observe the voltage okay if i connected a 1k resistor what is the output voltage 1.58 Okay, is it clearly visible now? For zooming in and zooming out. Guys. If I use a one K one point two zero. Okay. Now I need to reduce the okay. Okay. I'll change the resistance. Guys, if you want to change it to ohms, just click on the down arrow. I will give two ninety. Ohms. Sir, seventy ohms. Seventy ohms. Not seventy. The tractor is not running. Seventy volts. Alright, sir. The output is coming one point nine two volts, sir. Okay, guys. This live is a dummy software. Guys, live is a dummy software. Okay. Sometimes it will not give the exact values. Don't bother about it, but sir, we'll get to accurate values. Sir, this time sir, so the chest on the car is not sir. Bad LED and the actually, if we need three point three volts, seventy ohms, sir, two seventy or two eighty ohm. Resistor is sufficient in practical applications, guys. For pro providing 3.3 volts, a 272 to 290 ohms resistor is sufficient. Okay. Keep in mind that sometimes live wire gives you the wrong details. Okay, don't bother about it. Sir, nine volt battery. Okay, I did not. Nine volt battery. Flyover. Sir, in a your one point nine five got one point two zero volts. Change the voltage of battery, sir. Keep it nine volt. Okay then. Okay, there is no problem. If we give you give nine volts or five volts or six volts, so for nine volts that is just coming three point three volts sir, for two eighty ohms. Okay, I will change the voltage to nine volts. Okay, guys. If I give nine volts input, a two two eighty ohm resistor gives the exact output voltage. Okay. The circuit clear for everyone. Yes, sir.
but we want uh, 3.3 sir it's 3.03 okay no problem it will gives the approximate values <laughs> in practicals it is okay what is your name somana sir okay click on the yes say a to do okay sir you have kept a picture in the whatsapp group right yes sir okay the yes say box is highlighted but you need to select the second one okay the middle one yes say a to do I didn't find anything, so I'm confused. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. I have looked at a previous picture of yours. Sorry, only unmodified circuits. Okay, change the voltage to nine volts, Miss Samana. Sir, sir, picture ne zoom ka kama extend jo sir dhani wires ka ne internals ka ne. Hello. Alagi hosting, sir. Nine volts, please. Okay, close the software and reopen it. Okay, sir. Sir, Santosh, sir. Tell me. Sir, the picture ne zoom karna. The terminals ne action chega na, sir. Elements ne elements. Picture ne zoom chega karna. What is your don? सर्क्यूट सिमुलेन Drag the components. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, guys. Is it clear for everyone? Okay. This is just a basic circuit for understandings of your connections. Okay. Now I need. some of you to tell me what does an ac adapter circuit consists of okay did you get me we have mobile charger side that is an ac adapter a transformer step down and regulate okay okay someone only rectifier rectifier and regulator sir uh, 7805 7805 okay. for regulator okay. okay some more components step down transformer sir transformer step okay. down okay filter ready now a bridge rectifier Okay, bridge rectifier. That's nice. 
LED. What else do we have? Okay, in adapters. LED is used or sometimes it is not used. Okay, next I need all of you to take the components of an AC adapter. First of all, we need an AC voltage source. Is it yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. generally our house supply is AC voltage. But I am deleting the circuit. Okay, any AC adapter? Guys, please make a note of the components. We will be requiring the AC voltage source. And then a step down transformer to decrease the voltage to a required level. Okay, the input voltage is AC, so we need to convert it into DC. Okay, so what is the converting device? Rectifier. Okay. Generally a bridge rectifier. Okay. What is the output of a bridge rectifier? Can anyone tell me? It converts the AC voltage DC. into DC voltage. Okay. Rectifier's output is always DC, but it is not 100% DC. Pulsating DC. Pulsating DC. Pulsating DC. Pulsating DC. Generally, we get the output from a rectifier as pulsating DC. Okay. That means it may, it consists of some ripple content. Yes, sir. Okay. Then we need to reduce Filters. the ripple content. Filter. So that we need a filter for that. Okay, what are I'll the components please. required for a filter? Capacitor. Capacitor, Capacitor. Capacitor. LC Capacitor. filters, PI filters. Okay, here we use a capacitor. Okay. I am discussing about a basic circuit, a basic adapter circuit. And the output voltage may or may not be the required output voltage after rectification the output voltage may not be the same as we record for the mobile devices or any other devices okay so what do we need amplifier. okay voltage amplifier. we need a voltage regulator okay, what does a voltage regulator do can anyone tell me it can regulate the voltage. It can the voltage. Suppose 7805, 5 volts. It gives a constant voltage. Okay, that's the right the answer. Whatever may be the input to a regulator, based on its rating, its output voltage is constant. Okay, is it clear, guys? Yes, sir. Okay. Generally, in AC adapters, we use a 7805 voltage regulator. Okay, it gives the output voltage of 5 volts. At last, we take the load from a, through a resistor. Okay, is it clear, guys? Now you have a clear idea about what are the components inside AC adapter. Now I need all of you to design. AC adapter circuit by taking all the components from the gallery. All of you take the components and design a AC adapter circuit. If anyone completed, Post a picture in the WhatsApp group. I will give you 10 minutes. It's 11.26. Okay. I have already explained you how to give connections in live wire. 
I need you to design the next circuit. Okay, it will Hello, be sir. helpful for me. Okay, tell me, Mr. Actually, uh, I was not in the WhatsApp group, sir. Actually, the group was full, so I can't able to add it to the group. Okay. Okay, so that's what I want to inform you. Okay, that's not a problem. Complete the circuit and let me know in the go to meeting itself. Guys, if in case some anyone have not changed their names, please be sure about your details in the go to meeting. Your name and role number should be your details in go to meeting. Okay, if your name is something like caller one, caller two, okay, you may have the chance of getting absent. Okay, now take the components and design it as soon as possible. Guys, please turn off your mics. Okay guys, these are the components. I need you to design the circuit and let me know if it is complete then. Sir, in which uh, subsection this uh, 7805 is there, sir? In power supply, Thank you, brother. Sir, in which section bridge rate fire is bridge circuit is available? Where is transformer available? Discrete semiconductors. Discrete semiconductors. Transformer.
there is transformer available in passive components you can find transformer okay Here it is. Okay, guys, you have two more minutes. Did any one of you completed the search out and observe the output? Okay, I will give you the input voltage. It's 120 volts and I need the output of five volts only. Give a input of 120 volts. And the output must be five volts. I think many of you are familiar with the electronics, no? right? Sir, I completed it, sir. I got to 5.16 volts. Okay, that's very nice, wonderful. Okay, what is your name, mister? Sagar Bandaru. Okay, Sagar. What are the values? You have taken for resistors and capacitor. Capacitor is uh, uh, 100 microfarad, sir, and uh, resistor is 1k, mm -hmm. and transformer okay. input voltage is 230 volts 50 H. Okay. Our uh, ratio is 10 is to 1, and a bridge rectifier, 7805 voltage regulator. The output is uh, okay. I'm getting 5.16 volts.
okay guys is it completed for everyone Guys, please let me know if it is completed. Guys, please, someone respond. Done, sir. Done, sir. Okay. Whatever may be the input voltage, the output must be only 5 volts. Okay. That's what an AC adapter do. And those are the components required for. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. If we open an adapter, these are the major components and in you know, addition to this we will observe some other components also okay if we increase the amperes okay the components also increases okay is it clear for everyone yes sir guys okay in live we can also observe the waveforms okay it is not necessary for designing the PC boards. Okay. In case if you want to check the circuits, we can connect a oscilloscope to the circuit also and observe the output waveforms. Okay. Just I will just I will show you how to connect a CRO. Guys, in case uh, one more thing here. If you, Okay, tell me. Sir, actually the transform we are using is center type transform here. Okay. But you have connected both of the positive terminals to the rectifier, but it, I mean, if it is 12 volts of transfer, and, I mean, 12 volt of center type transform, we will get 24 volts as an output. But you have to connect one ground and one positive to the bridge so that you can get, I mean, the 12 volt output, maybe. I did not get you. Come again. Actually, both of the positive terminals of the output have been connected to the bridge, sir. Ah, uh, yes. But you have to, I mean, what if we have to connect one of the ground to the bridge also, right? So. Okay, try it and see the output. That's what it is, the same as 5 volts is coming, coming for me. Ah, uh, okay. As we have a component only center tap transformer, I have connected the circuit like that. Okay, there is no other component. Okay, sir. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, guys, can I move to the next circuit? Okay, sorry, sorry. I told you to connect the CRO. Now I will show you how to connect a CRO and check the output. You can change the values, okay? Whatever you want based upon your design, you can change the input and output voltages as you require. Just to show in graph, I am changing the values. Okay, guys, for connecting CRO, go to measuring and take a oscilloscope. I am giving an input of 120 volts and one H. Supply to the transformer. 
how i am changing the capacitor value to 2000 microfarads Okay, guys. For connecting oscilloscope, go to the measuring. Take your oscilloscope. Here you can find two channels. Okay, one channel you can connect it in the input, and the other channel you can connect it to the output okay channel one connected to the input side sorry guys i am using a inbuilt mouse of laptop if you are using on board mouse of laptop it irritates you for connecting these wires if you are using a separate mouse it will be much easier for making connections in live wire and next software Okay, if there is a dot in the junction, then it is known as connected. Guys, take the connections, don't short the wires. Now I have connected a oscilloscope channel one to the input side, and the output side is connected to the channel two. Okay, guys, now after connecting the oscilloscope you need to click on the graph okay you can observe the option on the top side left side of gallery icon you will find a symbol like this and it is labeled as graph click on the graph and again click on the workspace then you will find a graph Okay, did everyone got the graph? If you have any doubt, yes, please let me know. Connect the oscilloscope, then click on the graph and you need to click on the workspace. Okay, now yes, I need to change the X. Your voice is not audible, sir. Hello, guys. Hello, yes, sir. Is the voice audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, after taking the graph, I need to change the values x and y. Well, okay, by click double clicking on the graph, you will get a window like this. Okay, I have an input voltage of 120 volts. You can take any boundary from plus 140 to minus 140 like that. 
maximum is 180 minimum is minus 180 so can we use 230 here i mean minus 230 to minus 250 okay it won't show you the graph yet okay try it yourself no problem okay sir now i am running the circuit guys you can observe the ac voltage is the red line and you can observe a small line beside the zero that is the output voltage of 5 volts okay is it clear guys sir can you tell me once again i didn't understand how to get the graph okay after taking the oscilloscope okay you need to go here click on the graph symbol okay, okay. i'm removing the graph one way okay click on the graph and click on the workspace where you need the graph place it over there okay, and now i need to change the boundaries of the graph okay then okay. Double click on the graph. Okay, then sir, you will I got find it. this window. Okay, change the values to plus and minus values of graph. Upper boundary is only in the lower boundary. Okay, now I am running the circuit. You have the input voltage and the output voltage. You can see here. Straight line because it is a DC output of five volts. You have a straight hello, line. sir. This I have a doubt, sir. Okay, tell me, sir. Why the voltage values are changing regularly in the voltmeter? Okay, as I have already told you, live wire is a dummy live wire, ah, it will not give you the exact value sometimes. Okay. Sir, sir, please repeat once again, sir. Your voice is not clear. Software. Okay, sir. It is a dummy software, or sometimes it will not give you the accurate results, but it will give you the approximate results. Okay. 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 Unlike okay, many of you have <coughs> used multi sim, right? Okay. Multi sim software in your colleges. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Multi sim. Multi sim is a original software, but LiveWire is a dummy software. Plus, okay. it is linked to a PCB designing software, which is known as PCB okay. Wizard. Okay. Okay. Here, the okay. circuits are not important, but the PCB design is important. Okay. 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 Guys, please keep in mind that for designing PCB boards, first we need a circuit, right? Yes, sir. First of all, a designer must have a circuit in his mind. Then only we can design a PCB for that design. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Don't bother sir. about the outputs. Okay, just focus on the circuits. Okay, for these circuits, you will be designing PCB boards. Okay, is it clear, everyone? Or everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, shall I, shall I move to the next slide? Okay, sir. Hello, sir. Sir, 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 graph name, sir, yalla chikche, yalla chap, 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 sir. Okay, do I need to repeat the process? Sir, I have one more. Sir, sir, the graph. Sir, open the graph, sir. Okay, I will repeat it again. Okay, after completion of your circuit. Hello, sir. Hello. 
सर वाई ग्राफ शो से नेगेटिव वैल्यू सर स्टार्टिंग हेलो सर हेलो हेलो सर क्या आ रहा है नेक्स्ट आ रहा है इंटरनल ऑटोज़ और क्या आउटपुट वेव फ्रॉम शोइंग नेगेटिव एट द स्टार्टिंग सर वाइस सर गाइस दिस इज अ सम डमी सॉफ्टवेयर आई एन हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू ओके सर इट विल नॉट गिव यू द 100 परसेंट आउटपुट लाइक मल्टी सिम सॉफ्टवेयर ओके सेम आउटपुट वोल्टेज अंदर की रालो फ्लक्चुएट होते हैं उन्होंने डोंट बोलर अबाउट इट गैस समवन आस्क मी टू अगेन रिपीट द ग्राफ प्रोसेस नो सर चेंज सर फ्लो स्कोर चेंज Select, click on the graph, and select no, the graph where you want to place the graph. Just give a double click on the graph. Then you need to set the boundaries. I am giving an eighty and lower boundaries minus one eighty. Okay. After changing the boundaries, run the circuit. Is is it clear for everyone? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. सर ऑफ सर चैनल डा और कुछ भी ना चैनल ओके यू कैन अब्जर्व एस स्मॉल लाइन या बोल द जीरो ओके आई वोल्ट जी डी डी साउट वोल्ट इस सर चैनल यू विल अब्जर्व एस स्मॉल लाइन ओके लेट मी सर वो सीन का टा डीसी वोल्टेज जान सो चैनल तो Hello, sir. Okay, are you able to see the channel to output? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, it. Okay, there is a small line above the zero because I have taken the boundaries one eighty. Okay, guys. Shall I move to the next circuit? प्रॉब्लम Guys, shall I move to the next circuit? Good, sir. Okay, tell me, Mr. Yes, sir. Channel to output. Channel to output. Hello. Guys, 
சிலை மூட்டு தான் ஓகே சார் ஓகே தேங்க்யூ ஐ வில் கிவ் யூ அ ஸ்மால் சர்க்யூட் அண்ட் க்ளோஸ் த செஷன் ஃபார் டுடே ஓகே டுமாரோ ஐ வில் கிவ் யூ நம்பர் ஆஃப் சர்க்யூட்ஸ் பை யூசிங் ஐசிஸ் ஓகே ஃப்ரம் டே ஆஃப்டர் டுமாரோ வி வில் பி லேர்னிங் ஹவு டு டிசைன் பிசிபிஸ் ஃபார் தட் சர்க்யூட்ஸ் விச் ஐ ஹவ் given you or you can design your own circuits is it clear for everyone yes sir sir okay tomorrow i will give you number of circuits and i will give you tasks also okay sir now i will give you a small circuit okay guys design a circuit by which we can increase and decrease the brightness of an led okay sir and show me to right sir what is that mr connect a circuit by which we can increase and decrease the brightness of an led okay you will be having a power source that is an n volts battery you need a variable resistor or potentiometer and you need a transistor and an led okay complete it quickly i will give you the component names okay guys is it clear for you sir why a transistor sir okay to increase and decrease the brightness only potentiometer is not sufficient we need to design a circuit so that we can safely change the brightness of a led without damaging it so okay. we are using transistor here as an amplifier yeah yeah okay sir examiner okay you need a power source you need a variable resistor okay i am taking a potentiometer instead of variable resistor mm, at last i need a led Okay guys, I will just complete the circuit and I will close the session. For rotating the components, select the component and click on Ctrl plus R. Okay, this is a simple circuit. in 2 minutes it will be completed
these are all just simple circuits okay from tomorrow i will give you circuits based on ic's okay i will be giving you number of circuits after completion of the circuits we will be designing okay guys please all of you save all of these circuits okay okay please sir note of all the circuits okay sir if you have any doubt you can ask me explain explain this circuit one more thing i need to tell you Someone is creating the stimulus. Guys, why are you turning on your mics? Mr. Ganesh, P. Ganesh. Why don't you check your mics, guys? One more thing I need to tell you. On the left side, you have some options. After running your circuit, you can check the voltage levels. How the voltages are moved from one point to another point, and you can check the current flow also. guys you have options like voltage levels current levels logic levels on the left side of your screen okay you can check the voltage and current levels also okay this circuit by increasing the resistance the uh, led glows by varying the potentiometer its brightness can be varied If you have any doubts, post it in WhatsApp group. Guys, I have another class at one thirty, so I need to close the session now. If you have any doubts, no sir, so practical. Okay, tomorrow you will be learning circuits based on ICs. Okay. Got it, sir. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir, for your explanation. Okay thank, thank you guys. Sir.